this is Spidey1958 and welcome to a short tutorial how to do on using logistics pipes to uh, manage your bees. Um, I was doing some research on this because I, of course, people who watch my Let's Play knows that I use logistic pipes for everything. And there really isn't a good video on how to use the various bee pipes and modules. So I think thought I would do a quick video here showing you a simple system and how you can use it. So there are two pipes and four modules, though two of the modules do the same as the pipes, so I'll just let you know on that when we do that that you can use for doing your bees. So the first module here is the apiary filler module. Now this has no configuration. You just need to put in a chassis pipe, but what it does is really neat. What it does is when it pulls everything out of the apiary except that when the queen dies it puts a princess and one drone back into the uh, appropriate slot so that the apiary keeps going. So as we're about to see here, I hope, and that it's going to pull this, this queen's going to die, and it's going to pull out all the drones except, yep, see, and now it's going to put the princess and one drone back in and keep the apiary running. So that's the apiary filler pipe. Now, you won't be able to start with these because, unfortunately, Let's see, let's go modules. It requires pollen to make. Now you need to make it in the carpenter. All of the modules for um, Bees need to be made in a carpenter fueled with honey. But you do need pollen to actually make these refillers. So you won't be able to start with those. But, oh, it's night. Let's go ahead and switch it back to day. Okay. The next thing here is the analyzer pipe. It has a simple interface extract mode on or off. What it will do is if any bee goes into the system that's not analyzed, it will automatically put it into the analyzer here. Or if you had a chest, it would put it into a chest. But it's specifically built for the analyzer. And then once the bee is analyzed, it will take it out and put it back into the system. Now, there's both the pipe and the uh, module. So the module basically uses a gear, some propolis and that. So this you can once you get a few propolis, you can easily make this one. And the pipe I believe is similar. Basically, instead of a card here, you simply put the, a basic logistics pipe here. And it, otherwise, it's basically the same formula. And this, next, we're going to look at the B sink, which is basically uh, very similar, except you don't have the iron gear here. Now, the B sink is a really powerful pipe and, ha and is one of the few that has a real interface. So, if we see here, I have this pipe set up to do princesses and queens. And right now it will do any princess or any queens. I could set it to specifically forest. I can also do, if I set two colors to the same, it will act as an and. 
So, if like if I wanted only princesses that were purebred, by setting them both to red, it would give me only princesses that are purebred. And then you have multiple groups you can do. But if you make them the same color, then it's basically going to an them. And this one, I have the same thing. It's just all my purebreds go in here. And then the last thing, right here, is the drone terminus module, which is basically uh, you need some black dye, some purple dye, pollen again, and a card. And what it does is any drones that have nowhere else to go in your system, go into here. And then I have these basically just using indexers because they hold a lot. So any cones that are pulled out go into my normal system. And what I just have in here is a module pipe right here with an item sync extractor, which cones go into, or an item sync that cones go into, and then an extractor, which will pull out the finished cones and throw them into your system. So that's in simplicity a uh, simple little system for taking care of automating your bees with logistics pipes. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them. Hopefully you found this informative and useful. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun Minecrafting.